the last point of the introduction is we have to ask ourselves, that's all good. But when you are talking about renewing, when you are talking about reforming, when you are talking about changing, there is something which is a tension between the changes and faithfulness. And this is where, by definition, a tradition that is moving in time should ask itself what are the limits of the changes to remain faithful to what they, who we are. So the relationship between the essence and the accident uh, in history. So, so this is something which is quite important is are there limits, yes and no, and what are these limits? And this is where we may disagree in our understanding. Uh, and this is why, for example, among the scholars, we have different trends, that you have trends that are going very far. Thank you. You have trends that are going very far and others who are more restrictive. But at least we should acknowledge the fact that there are limits. You cannot just go for changing everything. So even, for example, the starting point is no one as uh, uh, a believer would agree, for example, in the name of reform to say, yes, we start reform tomorrow and tomorrow we'll have four prayers and not five. We know that this is not possible because it's part of the immutable. But this is so clear that we, there is no discussion. Now we have other things when it comes to some of the prohibitions and some of the the, the ahkam, which are the rules that are understood where there are interpretation, but where, on, on which we may differ. 